new to Outland, looking for that perfect template to start with, but you're also looking for one that you don't have to harvest for hours and hours just to fund that said template, I got you covered. Mwah. The Chivalry Bard is a great template for the new player here on Outlands. While you learn the different dungeons and player progression systems that Outlands has to offer. Now, as you guys know, Outlands is always throwing out new updates and changing things up just to keep us on our toes. With that, we've done this template previously before, but as I just said, with all the updates, there's quite a few things that I would change from that template. If you like the idea of pacifying a monster to where they are just dumbfounded by the beautiful music that you're playing them while you bash their skull in and they can't move, because the music is so great. Well then guys, sit back, grab yourself a beer and your favorite instrument, and let's talk about it. All right, my friends, let's start off with the template. Chivalry at 120. Now, it wouldn't be a chivalry bard without chivalry. Chivalry is amazing for a new player. I just said chivalry a lot. <laughs> Some of the key perks are as follows. Consecrate weapon. Now this will increase the damage of your weapon specials. Enemy of one will increase the melee damage. Divine fury will increase your swing speed. I'd suggest keeping this one on auto cast. You can do that by clicking this gray box next to the spell on your chivalry hotbar. Next up, sacred journey. This essentially gives us a free rune book with all towns, all dungeons, and all shrines. If we use this ability, we gain a small damage bonus as well. Chivalry also gives us two instant heals. Holy Light, which not only heals ourselves and those around us, but it also does damage to enemies around us. Noble Sacrifice, which heals a single target, but bear in mind that you won't be able to be healed for five seconds after casting this. So, Feel free to keep this at 100 until you can afford the skill scrolls, which currently go for about 12 to 18,000 gold per. Moving on to Peacemaking at 100. Peacemaking will put the creature in a peaceful state, unable to move or attack. It just sits there. Keep in mind, Peacemaking is able to be used on creatures out of their aggro range, meaning if you're patient and careful, you can kill most monsters without them ever aggroing on you. Be sure and use this on the ground next to you so that you gain a very nice accuracy buff. Disordinance at 100. This is arguably the most powerful skill in the game. It increases the damage we deal to the creature as well as decrease the damage we receive. Pretty substantially too. Once again, be sure and use this on the ground next to you to further give you more damage resistance. Tactics at 100. I mean, we, we need to do damage, so uh, yeah. Musicianship at 100. Our effective barding is capped by our musicianship skill. Since we have the barding skills at 100, we need music to match that. Tracking at 100. This is a really, really helpful one. We can't piece PKs. As a bard, we can't even really defend against them very well. So our best defense is to know they're coming. Tracking will give us a PK radar so we know they're coming and hopefully give us ample time to run to the nearest moon gate. Also, just some tips. Try to carry a greater strength potion to increase your max hit points by 20. You can pop this as soon as they show on your radar. Carry red trap pouches so if they paralyze you, you can open one with an open bracket pouch macro. I'd also suggest creating an overhead to alert you, which I explain how in this video here. Tracking is also very helpful in the sense that it will increase our damage output as well as give us a better chance to succeed in our barding attempts. Macing at 100. Now we chose macing as the crushing blows really deal out some good damage. And overall for most monsters, Macing will come out on top for damage output. Archery might be a good choice too, as it gives you a buffer being out of harm's way if the monster does a barding break, canceling out your peacemaking, which is never fun. Archery will also keep you out of harm's way for AOEs. Arrow upkeep though can definitely be a pain early on. All right, as far as the codex go, let's talk about the bard codex first, as it's the most definitely the first big purchase that you should make in terms of player power progression. Perfect pitch at six points. This should be the first thing you focus on. This will increase our barding success chance by 24%, which obviously is huge. Sing your own praises for six points. This will increase the effect of our songs by 45%, meaning more accuracy bonus from peacemaking and more defense from disordinance. Reverb at six points. 
This will increase the damage towards the most recent barded target by 15%. Ensemble for two points. This increases the damage to targets that have been affected by two barding effects by 8%. Now let's go ahead and talk about the macing codex. Sunder. The rest of the mace codex falls far behind. Sunder not only increases our damage by 4% for each tier, but it also helps with our weapon specials to reduce more armor by five per rank. For the finisher, I'd go with Pulverize, unless you're really advanced and have a high weapon special chance, or you're fighting a boss. Now onto the aspect. Lyric, 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 Lyric. Lyric armor will increase our damage to barded targets. It'll help us not to fail when we're barding targets. It'll also increase our bard buffs as well, giving us more accuracy as well as more defense. For the Lyric weapon special, it does a nice AOE damage and keeps a creature from doing a barding break for the next six seconds. On to the mastery chain link. The very first link you want would be a bard reset chance. This is really cool. This will give you a chance to reset the cooldown of using a bard skill again. To be honest, even just having one of these will suffice. Effective barding is also a very nice link to have. As lyric armor increases and effective barding links are put in, you can continue to decrease your music skills to further increase your damage modifier skills or adding an entire new skills altogether. Another great option is damage to barded creatures. This obviously will increase damage to, you guessed it, barded creatures. Finally, swing speed links. Faster swings, more damage. Duh. And there you have it, folks, the new 2023 Chivalry Bard. Like I said, this is a great template for new players out there, and honestly, it will carry you all the way to end game. and I know many end game Chivalry Bards. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Shout out to the Patreons, the channel members, and you for liking this video, as it not only helps me, but it also helps with Outland's discoverability. Make sure and come by the live streams most evenings at 8.30 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. Also, do me a favor, guys, and comment below some different templates that you'd like to see me cover or just whatever content you'd like to see me cover as I really like to do videos that are inspired by you guys. Thanks once again, and I'll see you next time. Pwn Star Gaming out.